Hi guys, welcome back to Creative Frenzy. All right, so uh, there's gonna be some weird shadows, but this is the only way I can show you without actually showing you all of it, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, okay, so with Halloween of last year, um, we handed out uh, potato chips. So we had a really large chip box left over. And I decided to make my own dollhouse <laughs> from scratch. Now, it's not perfect. It's not even remotely square or even, but I am absolutely loving how this is coming together. So this is my kitchen. And um, yeah, I am in love with it. All right, I'm going to maybe show you part of it this way and then we'll go around the other way. So some of this needs to be sort of tidied up and some of it needs to be um, squared away, things like that. But I thought I could show you parts of it. So I don't actually have dolls that live in this house. It's more for um, creating and making my own furniture and uh, different pieces that I've been working on over the last oh few months, I want to say. Yeah, so it, it's quite a large box. <laughs> it is pretty big, but it has two, four, six, seven rooms, which is kind of nice. So four floors, um, well, three floors and an attic space. So anyway. But yeah, here's the kitchen. So I really absolutely love how it turned out. And I wanted to, you know, add a few pieces to it. And <clears throat> excuse me. I want to see if I can get the lighting to be a little bit better. Things are going to shake because I move it. But um, I thought I could take a few things out so you can get a better look. All right. <clears throat> excuse my... Uh... It's been a little scratchy lately. I don't know what's going on. So there's my sink, which I love how that turned out. Uh, it's just made out of cardboard and um, not even cardboard. It's really, really thick paper. And then I um, did the baking soda and paint over top, which really makes it nice and hard. So it looks almost like a stone sink, but it isn't. So I aged it a bit. I did put in some piping. I made the the mop in the bucket. <laughs> I absolutely love how it turned out. I did the upper cabinets. So the one over there and one over there. I love blue and white uh, china. So that's what lives in this kitchen. And I went with the theme. And then red is added uh, in different little places. So... I had this um, Czech uh, fabric for a long time, and I absolutely love it. So this drawer comes out, and this is where I keep my um, other utensils and things like that. I have some cutting boards down here. Um, I made this little rug out of embroidery floss. All you do is glue it onto... You could glue it onto wax paper or you could do it onto a silicone mat and then take it off but if you do it on wax paper it sort of holds it together a little bit better whoops so yeah this is on wax paper but it does um do the job nicely it's nice and thin that's what i like about it i had thought about using the um coaster like this natural coaster uh the thing is it is so thick because it's braided Okay, so between the two, hold on, it's losing focus here. Between the two, I'd rather have this blue one on there because then the furniture sits nicer. So, and it looks a little dirty because, you know, dust <laughs> and glue and uh, wax paper. But wax paper just normally really peels off nicely. And whatever stays behind, I don't mind. It just keeps it together nicely. So that lives there. Um, I made some cookbooks, which I'm really um, quite happy with. So I used some uh, different, um, uh, it's advertising papers. It's, you get them from, you can get them from Timu also uh, and Amazon, but it's just um, 
for uh, junk journals, which is a lot of fun to play with. But I found ones that have pertained to baking and kitchens and stuff like that. And I thought they were really cute. Um, this little hutch I made. Um, and a lot of these other things I bought off of AliExpress. So I made a little shelf. Um, here's a little rolling pin that I bought, which you cannot see. There we go. Um, so yeah, the shelf I made. And then I just glued the lace on. I did put a, a couple of toothpicks up here because I didn't want, not toothpicks, uh, matchsticks so that I could lean things on here without it falling off and I don't have to worry about um, using uh, museum wax or anything like that. So this kitchen, <laughs> I wanted it to look uh, lived in, which it did. It, it does rather, <laughs> but you know, it's um, it's very cute. I love it. So this little corner piece, I made a little, um, let me see if I can grab it. Hold on a second. It's a butcher block. And then um, I use it as a drying area. So a couple of tea towels hang out here. My one plate, that is the odd one out. So I made a little drying rack, but I'll show you that in a second. So here's the little butcher block. So it's match sticks and Jenga blocks and some wire and then some more of this lovely checker fabric and I just painted it. I just did a rough coat of white paint, just craft paint. It's not perfect but I like how lived in it looks and I sanded some of it down, stained it and then called it a day. I really really enjoy that. Um, and it fits perfectly into this corner and then the little matchstick pieces I had left over I created this little uh, wooden drying rack and then it holds this plate perfectly so I thought that was cute on there so that could be the little drying area and then I got this it's supposed to be a chopstick holder but you could use it as a vase or hold scrubbies whatever <laughs> I don't know but that's for now lives there until I find another place for it the lamp is made out of a bead and the, um, oh, what do you call those things? It is a painter uh, tray. I get a Dollar Tree. Um, it's part of this, you know, it's got the little wells for your paints and stuff like that. So it's a palette. That's the word for it. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, I made these little um, faux spice thingies. They're just little wooden uh, one inch blocks. And then I just glued some beads on them for handles. And I made this little cute guy out of uh, paper. And I just decoposhed a butterfly on it because I spelled... Not that I spelled it wrong, it, the lettering was way off. So it was supposed to be a bread box, but the word just went weird because it's on paper and paint. And Anyway, I didn't have a stencil small enough, so it ended up with a butterfly. <laughs> You gotta roll with the punches, people. <laughs> so I do have a window in here. It's the only room in this whole uh, dollhouse that has a window. Only because I wanted to try it and see how it worked. It's not bad. I do like how it turned out. And it does add a little bit of character to this room. So here is the fridge. Um, it took me a little while to find a fridge that would fit nicely in here. I wanted it to be sort of... Um, in keeping with the scope, like the scale of things. So, uh, let's see. There's a couple of other things I bought for this. Hold on, let me see if I can find it. Um, hold on. I have everything on my desk here. So my order came in the other day. So I'm trying to find it. I got a, a feather duster. Oh, here it is. There we go. So I thought that would look really cute in here. So I want to put a little string on it and hang it off of the um, the hooks back there. So, you know, in keeping with the scale, I wanted it to be more or less the same. So, and also if you buy these things and then you sort of figure, you know, uh, reverse engineer things, you could probably make it yourself. I probably could. I do have feathers, but I can hang that off of there. I also want to make a, um, in Dutch we call it a matteklopper. It's a rug beater, that's the word. 
and I think that would be really cute hanging off of there too. So anyway, the feather duster will go in there. And then um, the kettle is absolutely adorable. I got that from AliExpress. Same as these items here. This bowl is supposed to be from another set. And this is the lid from the teapot that I'm using as a vase in the other room. But, you know, we repurpose things as we can. And then the clock is onto a red button. I just like the look of it. I don't know if I'm going to do something else on the wall here. I haven't decided. Um, I did make my own little pot rack um, thingamajig. Uh, yeah, so I do have little ceiling medallions throughout the whole um, dollhouse because I like the look of it. And the stove I made myself. Um, popsicle sticks and these cute little corner pieces and then the top these are uh, very very inexpensive um, bead caps that I flattened out and turned into burners so whether this is a gas stove or a wood stove it doesn't matter you can use it either way so I thought it'd be kind of cute Oops, there we go so yeah and then I decoupaged it to give it that sort of metallic kind of shine to it. So I thought that would be cute. And then the fridge does open. It doesn't have much in there. A couple of drinks. <laughs> and I have a bag of... What else do I have there? Oh, a bag of flour. So, which, you know, just sits in here usually. But it's just an add uh, another little dimension to it. So yeah... It's almost done. I do have some cookie sheets. I did have it set up for Christmas and um, a few other um, embellishments that I want to do in here. I've been slowly using the museum wax in order to hold everything in place. Um, when I made my table, this little table here, I know it's so cute, isn't it? I really do like how it turned out, but um, once you start evening out the legs, things get a little bit wonky. And then um, it's a slippery slope, my friends, when you start adjusting the legs on these things. Because before you know it, uh, you might just end up with little stubs. So anyway, this cookbook holds it uh, even <laughs> so that I don't have to worry about it. <laughs> and then this little guy lives under here because he sees something that he needs to uh, bark at. Or he's stretching. I'm not sure which, but it's cute. And then this little chair, I'll probably make a tutorial on this one. I did have a lot of fun making this. It's just a bottle cap, uh, some toothpicks, a couple of beads, and a piece of paper. That's it. But this little chihuahua loves to look at things on the kitchen table in case you can get a little snack. And then this cute little apron I made for the kitchen also, which my grandson thinks is a rag that needs to be uh, used on floors. So <laughs> anyway, yeah, there we go. They live there. I uh, love this little mixer. Um, when I saw this, I thought it would look really cute in this kitchen and it absolutely does. Now eventually I will probably replace the um, plastic pots and pans. I'll probably hand these down to my grandson and I'll get some copper pots or something. But for now, I thought these would be um, really cute and I wanted to make sure the scale was right. I don't really pay attention to scale all that often, but in this case I wanted to um, make sure it wasn't too out of whack. So, Because this pot um, you can buy in three different sizes and that is the smallest size. And it's a good hefty pot, but it's still pretty big for this kitchen, <laughs> so <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. It's okay. For now I'm quite happy with it. Um, there's a few more things I wanted to, but yeah, this is the first room and it's pretty much done. I really do like how it turned out. So I will give you a better look. There we go. So yeah, that's it for now for this part. I hope you enjoyed this little kitchen tour. I'm having a lot of fun making this whole dollhouse and, um, can't wait to show you the rest and I'll see you in the next one.